Hi, my name is Andrea Clary, and I'm an Applications Engineer for Keithley Instruments. Today I want to give you a quick walkthrough of using the Kickstart software with a model 2450 source meter. Now this particular source meter I have connected to a, a diode, and I am using the four-wire connections to the diode. As you can see here in the Kickstart instrument screen, it has uh, detected the presence of the 2450 on a USB connection. Um, just as an aside, I simultaneously have a, a LAN connection you know, at this IP address, and I'm able to bring up this virtual front panel. And uh, we'll look at that again here in a few minutes. So in the meantime, if I wanted to do a sweep on that diode, I could go to the apps, and then the IV characterizer is the uh, application for the source meter, and just drag it and drop it out here. And then if I click that USB part and click OK, in a few moments there it gives me a setup screen so I can define what sort of um, sourcing and measuring actions I want the source meter to perform. So for this diode, I'm going to do this default voltage sweep. I'm going to start at zero and I'm only going to run it up to about 0.8 volts. Um, I'm going to accept most of the defaults here including this delay time. Under advanced though I want to do in, I want to indicate here four wire connections through the front panel terminals of the instrument. Okay I think we're ready to go. So I'll shift focus to the table, hit the run button, and the uh, blue light on the front of the instruments turned on, and we see data is arriving. These current measurements are way down in the pico amps here. Let's shift to the graph, and we can see it's increasing in amplitude. I want to point out here we've got um, incredible dynamic range on this instrument. So we started out down here in the picoamp levels and then this test here at 0.8 volts is going to wind up around 10, uh, 10 milliamps. So the 2450 could go all the way up to 1 amp. So just incredible dynamic range from picoamps to an amp. Now if the if the speed of this test was uh, somewhat of a concern to you um, like maybe you're really only interested in characterizing and validating that the uh, forward voltage of this diode, say at say you know one milliamp, is you know uh, no bigger than some some voltage level. Um, then you know out here is the data levels you're you're in interested in, and these picoamps, those tiny tiny numbers, uh, maybe aren't so important. So you can still assess those, but you could come into this uh, measure range and you could say say set the minimum range that it's going to utilize for the test. And then it is still auto range um, for that 100 microamps and higher, but it's uh, you just you know so the speed's much much uh, much faster, um, but these lowest uh, and, and, and more sensitive and therefore slowest current measure ranges aren't utilized down here in the in the tiny tiny numbers. All right, uh, so data can be exported. We can export our graph. We can export the uh, data itself in CSV or XLS. You can optionally include the test configuration. The test configuration would be the information that you've indicated here on the uh, uh, on the setup on the setting screen. So just just quickly, let's kind of let's just peek back here at the front panel of the instrument, and and I'm going to actually touch the, the instrument itself, and the web page will update, and you'll see. Okay, so we have the integrated graphing on the instrument, and then if I press the home button again, now if I press our menu button. You know, we can see I could look at the reading table here and I can just grab that that cursor and or I can just use my scroll bars and look at this 
Um, if you wanted to see well, what's, what was really set up on that instrument by the Kickstart software, you can see this trigger model. So again, that's under Menu. Under the Trigger column, look at the Configure. And so when, when the program runs, it clears the buffer, source output, turns the blue light on, it recalls the first setting in a configuration list. This is a this is a branch around. So it's a branch around one time. It says just jump down here to six. There's the constant delay. Do the measurement. And then because our total sweep was 101, it's going to go back up to five, which is config the next value in this source list. And then just again and again, it's going to come down to eight, loop back, com config the next, delay, measure, round and round. And then when the loop counts satisfied, turns the blue light off, and then goes back up to the idle. The That config list was a source config list. And there it is. You can see the details of it. So. Um, so quite a bit of information on the front panel GUI of the instrument, as well as the Kickstart software allows very rapid productivity. Okay, hope you enjoyed the video.